Welcome back to Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. This is episode 20 in our playthrough, the Dungeons of Nahulbeck, Amulet of Chaos. Last time up, we had just defeated the demonic, so the cursed the books over here in the library. And then we left, oh, that was the lair. Then we left the library through the demonic portal back into the lair. And now we are here in the, the Dungeon Forge. That's where we're supposed to go next. Okay, so there must be something in here that we need to find. All right. Da, 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 da. Let's go this way. No, no, no. That's back into the Lair to Galbra. I want to go this way. And I want to put my thief in front. Okay, what's this? Spots. Think of those mean something. There's another one over there. Look, there are stairs in this room. We just couldn't see them because of all the festivities. Speaking of which, where are those doofuses wearing gowns? Stop right there. In the name of the Lord of Unhappy Accidents, God of Fail, and Commander of Fumbles! Hmm. Looks like more members of Tough Luck's cult. Your quest for the statuette of Gladofara must cease, for it is a threat to the balance of the universe. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. We don't give a dagger about that shit. We only care for gold. And glory! And survival. And snuggling with groundhogs. And orgies with A-list people. <sighs> And an aspirin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tough luck wants you to die again and again for eternity! Quick question, before the brawl. Why wouldn't you kill us once and for all? Why trap <clears throat> us in this time loop? Well, it's a secret. But, I mean, now you're gonna kill us. So we'll be back at the beginning of the dungeon and we'll have forgotten everything. More or less, yeah. So you can tell us everything, right? Hmm, that holds up. Let's just say that if you guys die once and for all, other more skilled adventurers will end up taking your place. And you f*** with us. We'd rather have fools like you trapped in here forever, rather than get rid of you for good. That should prevent some skilled but misled adventurers from inadvertently destroying the world. But what if we free ourselves from the curse? <laughs> Not a chance. You're way too stupid. <laughs> Where are you on our way, then? The ways of tough luck are impenetrable! Ooh, I'm sure a sharp enough blade will do the job. Blasphemy! <laughs> to me, brothers of awkward fate, may theirs be a gruesome one! Oh, goody. Somebody behind us. A couple of somethings behind us. Oh, there's four somethings behind us. Tough luck novices. A troll warrior. A priest and a novice and on that side. Oh, there's another nov another priest. Two priests, a novice, and a troll warrior, and there's the deceiver. Ay,
Let's see how that works out. Okay, he does this protection tactic. Goes right. All right. Traps are for cowards. Yeah, that's what those do. Serve misfortune. Fortune smiles upon its believers. Ow! Hell yeah. It's a bunch Wither of away. And then 40 more. Turn, damn it. Good lord. Ah! Another critter getting two attacks. Who do you think I am, you lout? By the power of the ancestral fail. You can't go back. Oh, that didn't hurt. Don't stand in my way. By the power of the ancestral fail! I'll create curse titles on them now. <laughs> That's not good. Careful with the books! Oh, hell. Here we go. Ha! And I thought you were to be my champion. <sighs> Somebody didn't have a critical failure. Huh? 
He's out of range. There you go. Serve misfortune with all my heart. And he gets two attacks. My turn now. And that did him in. Oh, not quite, but almost. Here we go. <laughs> Off with you, scoundrel. By the power of hitting your toes on a coffee table. Now oh, he's done. Okay, so. She can't hit him. That's fine. Hit this one, heal yourself. They're both 100% still. Ah! Strike down without a sound. Prepare your ass. Take that ah! word. Drop him on. Ah. Arcana time. Fumble and loaded die. Yes, that son of a bitch gets two turns. Nice. And this is the guy that goes twice. Very hurtful. My turn, scum. He didn't go twice. Time. Oh, healed them back up. 
then he went twice. Oh! Not good. So two of them get two attacks. In your dreams. See, I'm 36. Yeah. Now the door should kill him. Can be. Hey, watch the robe. Start on him. He is going to finish him. And then move on him. Let's see here. Oh, what do you do? Put her to sleep or something? Kill it. Ah! Wanted to free the barbarian. Blows <laughs> a raspberry. Critical success. I'm going to roll her down. Here I am. Tough it out. Okay, so the barbarian cleared those two. The dwarf. What? That thing is just strolling by. Good deal, Waller. Oh, he's barely hanging on, but he is hanging on. I can smell the proles swarming around me. Nice shot! There you go, good hit, Elf. Oh. 
Priests, take their gold. into that one. This time we've got you. I didn't see you coming, because you're short. Here we go, Barbarian kills another one down there. Goes after him. He has not hit with that yet. <laughs> he has missed every time he's done that attack. Ah, 
miss twice. Shouldn't get another turn either. that left. Hello, you. Bye. Heal him up for a bunch, and that'll be healing potions I don't have to consume. Here we go. That's the end of that. Leveled up. The Barbarian, leveled up. The Dwarf, leveled up. Good the Lord. Wizardess, leveled up. The Thief, leveled up. Good Lord. <laughs> we got much gooder at what we do. Sort of kick assery. Throat cutter hood, staff of arcanic cosmolumicing. Okay. Do I want to use my eight potions? Duh. All right. Ugh. It reminds me of potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. What's a more, you bag of troll scum? Sorry, but not today. I shall be off in a myriad of radiant fumbles. <laughs> He slipped through our fingers again. Okay, let's see here. Skill tree. We gotta launch a bunch of peoples to level up here. Okay, the dwarf. One, two, three. Get off your ass, you slacker. Get, uh, hmm. Dwarven insult. For profit defensive maneuver. Protects an ally. By redirecting 50% of incoming damage to the dwarf as long as they're adjacent to each other. Or hold me back does a lot of damage to your target. Only works if the dwarf has the support of two allies. In other words, if two allies are next to you, you get to double your damage. Um. Jeez. Move out, losers. That. I'm the best. <laughs> Plus four points per level. Plus 20 to max stamina. 
plus 10 parry and cannot be knocked over when in a defensive stance. Uh, da, da. See, I don't know what a beer a beer tile is. Plus five parry, plus three strength. Oh, I can rip your tile. socks off. Okay, the elf here. Cheer of the wild, catchy song, a dance, increasing the target's strength, agility, and courage. Traditional dance practice during elven pony braiding tournaments. No one wants to see that. Cheering kiss. Range heals 90. Right now it's heals 65. Oh. All right. I think... I think we're gonna do this. Great. Take the wounding Have shot. Hug. And oh, extra overwatch shot, plus five to dodge. Each turn health automatically dodges the first attack of opportunity against her. Standard attack, plus ten precision. Standard attack plus 10% damage, plus 3 charisma, immune to burning. Yippee, yep, we're I'm gonna do that. Better. Better we're gonna do that. Alright. Right there, now we have here Caltrops. I think, and that's what we're gonna I'm do. Caltrops. Until... Channel their movement. Plus one agility, plus two dodge. I like that. Plus New one skills. agility, plus, agility, plus New two dodge. Dangers. Okay, barbarian. Slap that forces the targeted ally to act first next round and raises their damage by three to six, it's not a big deal. Ferocious Pounce. Jumps instantly to another tile dealing area of effect damage. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm strong. Plus 50, for, plus 50 to max stamina. Plus two strength, plus two agility. Plus two sprint. I like the plus two strength. Uh, I am stronger. Yeah. Stronger. Crom likes stronger. All right. Now. Dwarven throw increases the range. Right now it's six. That sets the range to ten. It lays it at six, but adds to the damage. Uh, no low. Para slaps each of which does 60% damage. Plank, plank. Terrible and depressing melody that reduces parry, chance, dodge, and precision of all characters in the area of effect. Look at that area of effect. The three in front, the five behind that, and the one centered behind that. Excuse me. They then suffer minus 15 to precision, minus 20 to dodge, minus 20 to parry. Makes it much easier to hit them. Duration 2. Savage Tremors. I should really do this. This identifies hidden critters. Stealthy. Uh, plus 10 precision next to the wizardess. Plus five impact next to the barbarian. 
Ogre gains plus one movement. There is something to be said for that. Where's that plus one movement? I actually think, yeah, I, I do want that. Okay, the wizardress. Ooh. Two hundred percent damage. There's a, there's an area of effect fireball. Now that's double damage and sets it on fire. That's individual target. This is 80% damage, but it's area of effect. Target starts burning, destroys destructibles. I think I want the area of effect. I really do. Um, what she have defensive here? Plus 10 critical chance, plus 5% critical failure chance, plus 2 intelligence. Plus two intelligence. I'm getting better and better. Oh, here we go. All right, and that was everybody's level up. So that's done. So everybody's healed. Come on, thief. Let's take a look around this room here. See if is there anything here to be. There's a staircase. These are no longer traps. Those were only traps during combat. Okay. So we will go up this staircase that we have not seen before. Because for whatever reason, when we came in here, they said we. Well, there's a staircase we hadn't seen before when we were here. Okay. A partial parry absorbs half of the incoming damage. Uh, once this opens back up, we'll check our recording length here. Comment down below, folks. Please, come on, tell me what you think. What's going on here? Um, hit that like button. Click subscribe. If you don't like the videos, that's fine. Click the dislike, but tell me what it is about the video you don't like, if you would, please. That way I know what I need to work on. Almost ready. Rooster's almost to the end of his egg row. Here we go. Oh, somebody's standing here. The sixth floor. Hi, are you bringing fresh prisoners? A what? No, we're looking for the forge. Oh, sorry. Thought you were mercenaries. In a way, but the only ones we brought are ourselves. Oh, you came here to be tortured of your own volition? I feel like I'm not caught up with all these newfangled memes. Oh, uh, wait. There seems to be a misunderstanding. The torture schedule is pretty full up anyway. You'll have to wait for a while. The deboning walloper and the shimmering barbed bidet of disembowelment are already booked. Excuse me, but could you tell us where we are? You're in the technical center of the dungeon. You'll find torture rooms and the prison on your west, workshops to the east. Fascinating. It's very handy, since the artisans and us executioners share the same tools. Only the raw materials differ. <laughs> so this would be the right place to find a forge. Sure, but the blacksmith is a party pooper. He never lets us use his anvil for torture. He says it's special. Uh, that sounds good. Let's not waste any time. Okay, excuse me while I check the recording time here. Be right back. And we are just shy of 41 minutes. So let's hold the tab key down. There's another person over here that can be spoken with.
Those look like prison cells. And nothing there to be interacted with any, in any event. Look at there, here's an anvil. Hey you, I said no torture here. Calm down, we're not executioners. I know these guys, those are my feisty adventurers. Hey, it's the innkeeper. What are you doing here, Mel? I was looking to buy a box of nails from the forge. Anyway, what about you, buying anything? We need a magic anvil, you have one of those? Yeah, right, in my dreams. My anvil's unique, but it ain't magic. What can I say? Most people wish they had a good horse, pork ribs, or a girl to marry. You guys go straight to the weird stuff. Most of my companions do indeed have a strange relationship with reality, doubtless a token of their miserable education. Thankfully, the barbarian is ripped enough to compensate for those shortcomings. <laughs> not spear shakers. Well, I'm kind of ripped too, you know. <laughs> entertaining group of commoners. Anywho, so you don't have one? A magic anvil? Here or anywhere else? Dang, have it, no, I tell you. Not that, I'd hate it. Well, I think he's holding out on us. Which means... One night he was drunk at the inn, I heard him say a magic anvil was stashed away in a storeroom on the dungeon's roof, and it's supposed to be used only for special occasions. Really? I'm just saying, you know. Interesting. Thanks for the tip. See, funnily enough, I just remembered something. There was this dwarf prisoner we took in a few days ago, real banged up, mumbling stuff about a divine anvil or something. Those bastards, they bang, I mean, smack the dwarf, they pay for this! And where is this prisoner? Ask the prison guards. Well, back to work. I mean, this is bullshit. Do you really believe a dwarf would know anything about an anvil? Yeah. Besides, prison guards aren't very friendly. Don't get me started on their boss. I'd stay far from this prison if I were you. Well, think about it. Here, Mel. Your handcuffs are done. Oh, great, thanks. I mean, you know, it's for the... The drunks! When they start screwing around too much at the inn, I cuff them till they sober up. We don't judge. We all have our little preferences. <laughs> this game is not particularly oriented toward children. Okay, there appears to be stuff here to be explored. Okay, here. Got a merchant. Couple of merchants. Let's see what they have. Oh, okay. Battle harness, guts, and glory. Actually. I picked up some goodies. Inventory. Weapons. Wizardess or the Priestess. 25 to 33. 10 precision. 5 critical, 1.5 critical damage. 25 to 33 versus 19 to 34. What do you want, peasant? Versus 20 to 35. 10 precision. This is 15 precision and 3 protection. Don't mix the potions or boom. This is 10, 10, and 2. 10, 5, 1 and a half, 25 to 33, 19 to 34. Uh, I think I'm going to leave her with what she's got. This Crap, what a goes mess. to the ranger. This rather right here. 32 to 39. 22 to 10, 5 and 1.5. 10, 6 to 1.7. Sword. Okay. 
What's this guy do? One protection, two stamina per turn. This is two protection, five precision, plus the critical hits. Yeah. Thanks. Is this we'll do for that. me, really? Ogreish Amulet of Courage. Anybody can wear it. Two Courage, two Physical Resistance. One Critical, one Physical, one Magical. No way I'm giving it away. Two Courage, minus two Intelligence. I've got some nuts for the squirrels. One Charisma, two Stamina. Two courage, two physical resistance. Two constitution and three physical resistance. How can people put their hands in my pockets? That, okay. Let's see what this one over here is selling. Just to know for future reference. Ah, here we go. Poison bomb. Yeah, area of effect hot poisons. We want those. Do I yes. give him the gold now? Trolley strength poison adds five to strength. Skip that for right now. Okay. Now, who is carrying what in their belts? Foul water and medium healing. Tear gas bomb and a speed potion. Here we go. She could take a poison bomb. No, stay out of my pockets. He's got an explosive What's bomb. What's in there? Ah, my bad. Bluetooth so gruff. The poison bomb. There we go. Okay. Let's continue up this way. There's a door. There's a door. There's loot. I like loot. Built of egotistic healing. Two slots received heals are 10% better than otherwise. I want to be left alone. Okay. What the f are you doing here? I said I want to be left alone. Okay, so we can't talk to him. Nazarian bookshelf. On adventure by the great wizard Chomban Shrepwitz. More loot! I like loot. Wine and gold. We like wine and gold. Let's through this door. We don't know what's through that door.
Okay, I'm gonna smash this door open. Well, it's broken. Dude. Oh, in here. Protection and magical resistance. Protection and physical resistance. That's her shop, right? Yep. There's another dealer. Oh, that's the blacksmith. Someone of could course. I get tired of having the little slow movement and the thief in front, so I take him out in the front and I run across the traps. That's the way it works, isn't it? So let's update the map. All right. I'll supervise the opening. Plus three protection, plus five dodge, plus one sprint. Those are specifically for this guy. How ironic for a thief to empty his own pockets. One protection, constitution, and sprint. Three protection, five dodge, and then five sprint. Fine craftsmanship. Yeah. Could be much, for a nice much amount. better. That's a one and a two. That's a, that's by far the better. That goes to the ogre. Yum yum. Stew pot of ultimate chili. Two protection, five physical resistance. This is yeah. Okay, we do that. These. For her. It's impolite to search the Roy Lady's dress. One protection, five magic resistance versus one protection and three magical resistance. Exactly okay. what I needed. We do that. Okay. So there are two arrows here pointing at where we need to go. Main quest, main quest. But I really think we need to find a guard. Here we go. Now the jail cells are lighting up where they were before. All right. I warn you, no one touches my books in here. Okay, it's another latrine with nothing in it. I found the jailer. Yep. Sorry, we're looking for the prison. It's here. Bringing some prisoners? No prisoners. We don't take prisoners. We cut their throats. Don't impale them on chair legs. That works good too. Lube's chairs are the best. Uh, I see. You guys are salespeople for a chair store, right? Not at all. We're looking for a prisoner. A dwarf. No visitors. And maybe we could make a deal, perhaps, with some gold? No way, Jose. And even if I would, I couldn't. Barney's the one with the keys. Barney? Barney the Terrible, Lord of Torments, head executioner of the Dungeon of Nahulbuk. That's horrible! No, terrible, not horrible. 
Sounds like a nice gig. <laughs> well, now we just have to find him and ask him for a favor. Let's hope you find him in a good mood. He's been a bit moody lately. Spends his whole day holed up in his quarters, drinking and whining. No, bud. I'm not sure a good meal with some friends is the only thing he needs. Okay, we chatted with him briefly. That's the guy that I got you on. I told you to leave me alone. That's the guy. That's Barney. We will be coming back to him next episode. We're at 55 minutes now. So, episode 21, when we return, this is where we will pick up. And I mean, already, well, in fact, let's see. Have a chat with Barney. Barney's apartment right here. It's just up and around the way there. Comment down below, folks. Give me some uh, feedback on your thoughts. Hit that like. Click subscribe. Take care of each other. Have fun. Stay safe. And until I see you again, stay the hell off my lawn. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.